you might be wondering why Red Arrow. And this particular figure is from the Justice League of America line based on the art of Ed Bennis from the, uh, I guess it's now 2007, um, re restart uh, of that title. Well, he is the only figure uh, that I have of this particular character. Red Arrow is uh, Roy Harper, the former sidekick to Green Arrow, Speedy, who then changed his name to Arsenal when he became part of the uh, Justice League. He decided to go with the name Red Arrow. Now you saw his base that he comes with, a nice Justice League of America base. Very nice head sculpt. I really think he's very too thin in the ankles and which makes this figure really hard to uh, stand up. He's just, even though it's very, very true to the art, it doesn't suit the figure well. Uh, I mean, he does stand up kind of out of all my figures, he's the one that falls down the most. Now, as for articulation, his arms go in and out. They go forward and back, but they're limited by the shoulder. Uh, he does have this nice bicep swivel. He's got the elbow bend, and he swivels at the wrist. His head is on a nice ball joint that uh, get, lends itself to lots of poses. His legs go back and forward and back, kind of, and his knees bend, and his uh, legs, lower legs, bend at the, or rotate at the shins. The cool thing about this is his accessories. Comes with this nice long bow. One thing I should mention is, of course, his uh, two-tone reds that he has that matches up with the two-tone green of Green Arrow, his mentor. So anyway, going back to his great longbow, kind of hard to get into this hand, uh, which is why I won't take it out. Uh, you see how close the hand and thumb, the, the thumb and forefingers are. Uh, so it is kind of a chore getting in in and out of that hand. You'll see his quiver it does come off. Oh, two pegs on the back of the quiver and two holes on his back. Half of them are molded pieces in there and the other half are actual arrows that come out. I guess this sort of and they all have these very wood looking like shafts kind of flat head I don't know what that would be and the last one being this very cool uh, sort of traditional arrow really if he had a better uh, sculpt in legs and something that gave him a better positioning of the body uh, he'd be a he'd be a awesome figure. The only other figure uh, is that we have of him is the DC Direct Silver Age Speedy version, which I do not have. Uh, for his origin background, Roy Harper, his parents died in a forest fire. His father uh, was a ranger, a park ranger. And after his parents died, he was raised by a Navajo medicine man and chief by the name of Brave Bow, a friend of his father's. Brave Bow is the first person who taught him how to use a bow and arrow. Brave Bow, who was a very old man, eventually passed away. And that's when 
Uh, he was adopted by Oliver Queen, become his sidekick, Speedy. First appearance is in Morphon Comics number 73 in 1941. He joined the Teen Titans for adventures without becoming a member for a couple of times, uh, but he does eventually become a member, kind of replacing Aqualad in the series in the series itself and during that time he starts dating Wonder Girl things kinda go take a turn for the worse for him he and Wonder Girl break up Teen Titans kind of grow apart and then the uh, his mentor and you know benefactor Green Arrow loses his uh, fortune and then proceeds to go on this road trip, um, kind of leaving him in the lurch, uh, so to speak. He turns to uh, drugs and becomes a heroin addict. Eventually, Green Arrow comes back and uh, discovers that his ward is an addict, but he gets uh, sober, and he has stayed sober ever since. And uh, actually becomes a big anti-drug um, hero, becoming a agent of the DC Universe's sort of combination of uh, the FBI and CIA uh, called the CBI, or the Central Bureau of Intelligence, um, also known, known as uh, checkmate while undercover there he falls for the criminal Cheshire uh, he cannot turn her in and she escapes but unbeknownst to him she escapes pregnant with his child something that he later finds out when he joins the Titans for an adventure and then later with the help of Nightwing he tracks Cheshire down and uh, regains custody of his child, which is a daughter uh, named Leanne. Pretty soon after that, he changes his name to Arsenal, starts to carry more weapons, not just his bow and arrow, but uh, crossbows, edged weapons, knives, guns, uh, all sorts of stuff. He briefly leads the uh, government-sponsored Teen Titans. It's also during that time that he changes his costume, his, his arsenal costume then is kind of like a purplish and white thing with a, I guess you'd call it a, like a boomerang kind of a design in the front here. Uh, he changes his costume to a red, uh, more Navajo themed. He's got an arrowhead on the chest uh, with like a feather on it. Things kind of go hard for him again uh, after he forms the new version of the Outsiders. Lots of things happen to him. I mean, he's shot. Uh, his daughter Leanne is kidnapped by a child slave ring. I mean, she's eventually rescued, but uh, you know, he himself then in the Green Arrow book is then... Kidnapped by the hitman, hitman Dracon, who slits his throat so that he has to apply pressure to it to, prevent, to stop from dying and can't follow him. And finally, he gets a break where he uh, joins the JLA, and that's where he adopts the Red Arrow name. Uh, just recently, in uh, Justice League Cry for Justice, uh, he is attacked by uh, the spoil alert. Uh, spoil alert. He is attacked by uh, Prometheus, who beats him up and takes off one of his arms. That'll become a fairly big part uh, in the DC Comics.